Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Although it is slightly lopsided, the towering Great Pyramid of Egypt is an ancient feat of engineering. And now an engineer believes he has figured out how the ancient Egyptians would have aligned the monument almost perfectly along the cardinal points, north, south, east and west. They may have used the autumnal equinox. The autumnal equinox occurs halfway between the summer and the winter solstices, when the Earth's tilt is such that the length of the day and the night are almost the same. The Great Pyramid is the largest of the three pyramids on the Giza Plateau, standing at around 455 feet and was considered a wonder of the world by ancient writers. When the pyramid was built is certainly open to debate and the accepted date by Egyptologists is 4,500 years ago, but many now believe it is far older. Whenever it was built, and whoever it was by, the pyramid builders somehow designed this ancient wonder with extreme precision. Glenn Dash, an engineer who studies the Giza pyramids, wrote in a paper published recently in the Journal of Ancient Egyptian Architecture, the builders of the Great Pyramid align the Great Monument to the cardinal points, with an accuracy of better than four minutes of arc, or one fiftieth of one degree. The Pyramid of Khafre, the second largest on the Giza Plateau, as well as the Red Pyramid, are also aligned with this high degree of accuracy, and Dash noted that all three pyramids exhibit the same manner of error. They are rotated slightly counterclockwise from the cardinal points. For more than a century, researchers have proposed different ideas about how the ancient Egyptians managed to align the pyramids along the cardinal points with such accuracy. In his paper, Dash demonstrates how a method that makes use of the autumnal equinox could have been used. In his experiment, which he conducted in Connecticut in 2016, Dash placed a rod on a wooden platform and marked the location of the rod's shadow throughout the day. On the equinox, the surveyor will find that the tip of the shadow runs in a straight line and nearly perfectly east-west. Interestingly, the degree of error is slightly counterclockwise, similar to the error found in the Great Pyramid, the Khafre Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. The tilt of the Earth allows the shadow to run in this east-west direction. Although the experiment was conducted in Connecticut, the technique should also work at Giza. For the technique to work, the ancient Egyptians would ideally need a clear sunny day, like most of the days at Giza. The Egyptians could have determined the day of the autumnal equinox by counting forward 91 days from the summer solstice, and they probably would have used a rod that was placed on a wooden platform or in the ground at Giza. Of course, it is unknown whether the ancient Egyptians actually used this technique. Experiments conducted over the past few decades suggest that several different methods that make use of the sun or the stars could have been used to align the pyramids. The ancient Egyptians left no surviving records that say which method they used. There are no engineering documents or architectural plans and nothing has been found with regards to the technical explanations demonstrating how they would have built this incredible pyramid. The autumnal equinox method does have an advantage it's relatively simple to do. Other methods require more steps and are generally more complicated. Of course there are so many unknowns with regards to the Great Pyramid of Egypt, but on this channel I do like to share the information from researchers who think they may know how the structure was built. Of course this is just one aspect of the Great Pyramid, the North, South, East, West alignment, and there are so many more mysteries about this structure, such as when it was built, who built it, how it was built, and what its purpose was. What Glenn Dash has done has showed how the ancient Egyptians could have perfectly aligned the Great Pyramid of Giza using astronomical observations, and I for one am glad that engineers and not just Egyptologists are working on this enigmatic structure. Thank you for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.